Welcome to Thronecast. It is such an honor to have you guys here with us. Thank you for Thank having you. us, Kelly. Now, I want to start, Daniel. How did you get involved with Game of Thrones? Uh, well, we first got the books from George's agent, and, uh, and uh, I remember seeing them for the first time at David's house on the floor, literally a doorstop on the floor. It was 4,000 pages of uh, reading material on the floor, and I thought, who on earth would ever read 4,000 pages? And uh, sure enough, David started reading them, and uh, what was it? It was a couple days later, he just called me and said, uh, would you read this book, Game of Thrones, and tell me if I'm crazy, or are, are these, uh, are, is this one of the most fantastic stories uh, you've ever read? And uh, I read it, and he was right. It was one of the most fantastic stories I'd ever read, yeah. Um, what's really interesting, obviously, George R. R. Martin is, is considered a, a kind of American Tolkien. Um, you could have easily filmed out there. What, what made you decide to come this way and, and film in Belfast using mainly British and Irish actors? What made you decide to do that? What made us decide to do that? Well, we actually scouted about 17 different countries, and, and there was something about the look of... Ireland. I mean, we, we actually met in Ireland, so we knew the country pretty well, but we got back the scouting photographs, and you have a kind of a look in mind when you picture the characters, say, riding through the forest. You know, the, the book is based in part on, on uh, English history, British history, you know, the War of the Roses and stuff, so it's set in a kind of world that just feels very much like Great Britain, and, and uh, so we, we saw the photographs back, and then we actually went on a scout in Northern Ireland, and the look was perfect. The forests and the stony beaches and, you know, the, the streams and the rolling hills, it just felt right. And for whatever reason, in our minds, we had always uh, heard English accents, English, Scottish, mm -hmm. Irish accents. It just, I think, having a, you know, having this dialogue being spoken by someone with a kind of Malibu surfer, mm -hmm. it just wouldn't have seemed right at all. So. <laughs> We're really interested in the casting because obviously there's a lot of children um, throughout the stories. What do you have to take into consideration when you're picking that? Because obviously some of them, not every character carries on through series and Game of Thrones, of course, but um, some of them are going to carry right through. So do, do you have to really consider that when you're I think that was casting? probably the scariest single aspect of the casting, other than the sheer scope of it, was knowing that this much adult dramatic weight was going to be resting on shoulders so young. And it, it really, uh, we, we looked at, for, for all those kids, we looked at, I would say, hundreds of hundreds of, of children to find the, the three core kids that we that we found. We're very lucky. We have a wonderful casting director um, or two, really, Nina Gold and Robert Stern, and they are so talented and also really gifted at finding kids, you know, which is, as Dan said, was probably the most pressurized aspect of the casting. And, and uh, because these kids aren't supposed to be little cute Hollywood types. I mean, they, they have to go to very dark places. and. And yeah, as Dan said, it's just such a gamble because even you, you have them audition with a few different scenes, but you don't know if they're gonna be able to take, <laughs> if they're gonna be able to handle all this in front of um, cameras and and a crew of hundreds, and with all the pressure that comes with one of our shooting days, and the fact that Maisie and Sophie and Isaac were um, so good and so good under pressure and so good the first time out was kind of a miracle. I mean, the fact that all three of them turned out to be so good. I think I just remember one lucky. of Maisie's first day shooting on, on the, the original pilot footage that we shot, it got to the end of the day and we had 15 minutes of light left and there are 500 people swarming around her and the director comes up to her and, and told her, you've got, we've got to nail this, we've got maybe three shots, go. <laughs> and she'd never done this before and, and she she didn't need three shots. She nailed it on the first shot. She was the only person on set who wasn't nervous. Um, wow. So, and then seeing them last night, it reminded me of yeah. because you know we were all out last night. We showed them the first um, two episodes of season two, and and, uh, and it's it's one of the really fun things about this is we're watching them grow up, kind of right mm -hmm. in front of our eyes. We have a photograph from the from the original pilot, which was just a couple of years ago, but they all looked like such you know they were such little kids back then and now you know Sophie's uh, seven feet tall and, mm -hmm. and and Maisie's a little woman too and Isaac's springing up <laughs> yeah we actually saw them in the pub yeah. last night so we, oh, they are growing up um, what we've seen we've we've seen one episode um, it looks epic again properly epic and we'd heard rumors from the darkest corners of the internet of course that the budget had been 
not as big. I mean, it certainly doesn't look it, mm -hmm. do you, is it like that was an issue. Do you want well, to? Well, that's not true, actually. The, the budget's Great. bigger, um, for one thing. <laughs> we wanted to clear that rumor up, so we just thought we'd give it's you a good thing for, for, for us that that rumor that is. is false. It would yes. have been very Strange difficult. as it would, I mean, usually the internet is so reliable <laughs> with uh, things. Isn't it? I know, I know. And we thought we'd put that one out there and give you a chance to just keep you, because watching it, it was like, mm, I don't think that's a smaller budget. But the look of it, I mean, so much, you know, we, we write these pages and then um, it's so relatively easy because we can come up with pretty much, you know, George uh, has these incredible huge scenes and then we write scenes and it's just words on paper and then really the director and the director of photography and everyone on the crew have to make it uh, come to life on set and having someone like Alan Taylor who directed the first two episodes plus episodes eight and ten um, and his DP Kramer Morgenthau and the other DPs, it's, uh, it's, I can say honestly that every page, every minute of screen time looks better you know, than we could have imagined. And that's not always the case in this business. So I think we're just constantly grateful at, at how good our directors are and, and how much they're able to, uh, to improve the material. Well, on that note, finally, uh, without giving too much away, is there any part of season two that you're particularly proud of or that we should particularly look forward to? We, we went to Iceland to shoot for about three weeks. And I, I just, uh, that stuff for me is just such stunning looking and stunningly well performed uh, and executed material that I'm just really, really excited for people to see it. That would be your favorite, that would be your pick. What would be your pick? Oh, I, you know, I think uh, it's more of a general thing, but just the cast as a whole, I, they were so good last year and I, they feel like they've taken it to another level this year. I feel like the characters, the, the characters who, who return, those actors now know their roles so well. We know how to write for them better because we've, we've already worked with them for a year. Um, and then all the new actors who came in, and there's so many new characters who are so important to the show, and, and they've been incredible, um, every single one of them. So it's just, uh, we're, we're really lucky. We have not only an incredibly talented cast, but they're really fun to hang out with, which is part of the reason we're so tired this morning. Is, uh, <laughs> you know, but, but we love them. You know, it's, it's actually truly fun to go to work every day. A lot and, of time pretending we're 20. Great, nothing wrong with that. We all do that. <laughs> <laughs> David, Daniel, thank you so thank much. You, it's great thank to you. meet you. Great to meet you.